Well, if you are in rush, then the answer is power system is a network which consists of generation, transmission and then distribution of electricity. So everything put together that is generation, the transmission and the distribution is what we can call as power system. That's the shortest answer I can give it to you. But if you want to have a detailed explanation on power system, then you need to watch the video. Hello and welcome. My name is Gaurav J. On this channel, I post videos related to electrical engineering in easiest way possible. So if you are new here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and the bell icon. Also, next video we will be publishing after we cross 87,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do click on the subscribe button. And if you are not aware, I have also launched my own official app wherein you can find courses related to electrical engineering in easiest way. You can go to Google Play Store and download the Electrical Guy mobile app and get started uh, your journey with the easiest courses on electrical engineering. But now let's talk about power system. Now, as I said, power system is a network of generation, transmission and distribution of electricity. Everything put together is what we call as power system. So if you really see power system extends from right from the generating station to the socket which we use in our house to charge our mobile phones, right? So everything comes under the power system and a power system supplying power to different homes, buildings, com industries, commercial buildings in a sizable region, then it is called as electric grid. Now the sizable uh, region means, uh, let's say a complete state or a complete country. It is a sizable volume. So in that case, we can call that power system as electric grid. Now it is not necessary that only the big generation transmission and distribution network is called as power system. No, it is not necessary. Let's say you have solar rooftop. You are producing electricity using those solar panels. From those solar panels, you are transmitting the power to your main MCB box. And from that main MCB box, you are distributing the electricity to different rooms. Now, if you see, in this case, we are generating the electricity. We are transmitting it to the main distribution box. And then from that, we are distributing that electricity to all the different rooms. So that means we are covering the generation, transmission, and then also the distribution. So this also you can call it as power system. You can have your own power system. You will generally see hospitals or some industry, they have their own power plant and then they use their own electricity. So in that complete system can also be called as power system. Now let's talk about the structure of power system. The structure of power system can be compared with the structure of online shopping system. So in online shopping, what we do, we place our order. Then after the placement of order, the package is delivered to the main delivery station, the main delivery hub, right? After that, that delivery hub connects that package to the local delivery station. Then once the package uh, reaches the local delivery station, a local delivery guy will deliver you the package, correct? That's how it works. And in similar fashion, our power system also works. Of course, power system is much more complicated than the online shopping system. But for understanding purpose, you can consider that. Power system consists of first, of course, the power generation, then the transmission of power, which is equivalent of transferring our package to the main delivery hub. Then after the transmission phase comes the subtransmission phase where we connect high voltage coming from transmission network to the distribution network. Subtransmission is actually a part of transmission network only. This is equivalent to the phase where our package is directed towards the local delivery station from the main delivery hub. And in the last step, the distribution of the electricity, which is equivalent to the delivery guy delivering the package. And once the power reaches the distribution network, then it is uh, delivered to the houses, different buildings, commercial buildings, etc. Right. So that's how you can compare the online shopping system with the power system. But of course, as I said, 
power system is much more complicated than the online shopping system. But for understanding purpose, it is a good example. Now, as, as I've said, power system consists of four main parts. One is, of course, the generation. The second one is the transmission of electricity. Third one is the sub-transmission phase. And the last one is the distribution. Now, let's start with the generation. Now, as you know, electricity can be generated using different ways. You can convert different energy into electrical energy by using different methods. So that includes thermal power plant, coal power plant, nuclear power plant, wind energy, or even solar energy. You can use these energy and then convert it into electrical energy. Now this is done in the power plant, which is located far more or far away from the uh, ultimate end user. We generate electricity at very much a lower value let's say 11 kV or 25 kV. Now there is a reason for that, of course. One main reason is to generate 11 kV, you will need a smaller machine than to generate a 245 kV, right? And that is also the economically feasible solution. That is the reason why you will see 11 kV or 25 kV is preferred because the machine required is much smaller. Now, once that voltage is produced, the electricity is produced, we need to transmit that energy so that it will reach to its end user and that's when the transmission phase comes into picture. Now this generated voltage can be stepped up to a very high value so that includes 245 kV, 420 kV or even 800 kV. In India the highest transmission voltage as of now is 800 kV. So to that level we transmit power and that gives us a lot of advantage. One example is less losses. Well, if you know any other reason for transmitting power at a high voltage, do let us know via comments. Now, once we reach the end part of transmission section, we need to connect that high voltage uh, to the distribution network, right? And that's when the sub-transmission networks comes into picture. In sub-transmission, the incoming high voltage is stepped down so that we can connect that voltage to the distribution network or sometimes some industry directly take power from that uh, sub-transmission phase that can be uh, 145 kV, 66 kV or even 33 kV. So power is directly taken, then the uh, industry will have their own substation, they will step it down and then they will use that power. So that can also be possible in sub-transmission phase. So what sub-transmission phase is doing here, it is taking the high voltage power, stepping it down and then connect it, connecting it to distribution network. Now in the distribution phase, there will be distribution substations come into picture. In distribution substation, power is further stepped down to a usable value. And then that power is delivered to different houses, buildings, commercial buildings or industries. So that is distribution phase. So everything put together, the generation, the transmission, the sub-transmission and the distribution network is what we call as power system. Now let's summarize this video. Power system is a network which consists of generation, transmission and distribution of electric power. Power system supplying power to homes or industries or any commercial building for a sizable region can be called as electric grid. There are four main phases in power system that is generation, transmission, sub-transmission and distribution. Right, so that's all for this video. I hope you found the video helpful and if you did found the video helpful, do let me know your thoughts via comments and also do share the video with your friends. That's all I ask. That's all for this video guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.